And I think as soon as you think of 24 Preludes and Fugues, you think Bach, inevitably. The two books of 24 Preludes and Fugues are probably one of the sort of cornerstones of musical uh, history. And uh, they, of course, influenced me hugely when writing this, my own set. And it was part of the fact of being brought up with Bach and Bach's music in general, and of course the 48, um, that I felt that I wanted to take on the challenge and actually see if I could do something which felt worthwhile. When I finished the piece in 2019, uh, the next job was to try and get it into a form which could be seen by other people. Um, and I am a professional music typesetter, so uh, I produced what I think is a quite a handsome volume. Um, and the, uh, that process had been going on while I was writing the pieces, in fact. So within about a year, it was ready. And I sent it round to lots of musician friends. Um, and one in particular, Nathan Williamson, responded almost immediately by saying, you'd like to play them. Um, not only that, he even suggested that we might try and see if we could get them put on to disc. This was time during the time of COVID, um, so we weren't doing public concerts, and uh, this seemed like a brilliant idea. So when this arrived, I, I played a piece of Chris's a couple of years before, and this turned up, and what immediately struck me was two things, the love and care and attention and uh, real devotion to, to this piece, which, which the composer had put into it, but also just the sheer ambition of it. And I think it, this was in the time of COVID and obviously the sort of day-to-day -day was very unpredictable. And the sense of doing something a bit outrageous, a bit unknown, a little bit over the top really appealed to me. I think the extraordinary thing about these pieces is, the, is their variety. They're very virtuosic, but not in a, in a rom grand romantic sort of Listian sense or, or sort of Rachmaninoff sense. They're virtuosic in their complexity, diversity, the range of uh, techniques, especially contrapuntal techniques, obviously, that they use. Um, but the piano writing is always very, very precise. There's no padding. There's no sort of textural addition. It's all, every note is very clear, very precise, and you have to, as a pianist, you have to really, it's, it's virtuosity sort of of the mind through, through, the, through the instrument and through the, through the body, through the fingers. But at a time when, as a musician, I think we're being increasingly encouraged to stick to form, to go to the mainstream. This is what creativity is. Creativity is when you don't know you obviously have a sense and you obviously have a belief, but you don't really know what it is you're going to achieve. And that is obviously exciting, and, and I'm very proud that we've done that, but of course there are moments when it's terrifying and one questions, but you're supposed to question. That's what being creative is. You're supposed to do something different. You're supposed to do something new. pieces in all the potential major and minor keys, all 24 of them. But I differ very considerably from Bach in the way I've ordered them. And part of my tribute to Bach is that I've divided them into four books. And the four books uh, are built around the four notes which are associated with Bach's name, B-A-C-H, which in German produce four different notes, B flat, A, C, and in German B natural is H. 
Uh, and so we have one book in each of those, both beginning and ending in either the major or the minor of those keys. In my music generally, I am quite aware of my historical position. And over the past 50, 60 years that I've been writing, I have often used quotations from other composers. And this is quite potent in this particular work because I make not only references to Bach and actual pieces by Bach, but I make quite a lot of reference also to Shostakovich, who wrote his own set of 24 preludes and fugues, as well as um, making references to specific pieces and composers uh, of all periods, partly because the pieces were commissioned by 24 individual people or institutions, and some of these people actually said they would like to have make me, uh, like to have these references, these cross references. So you hear bits of Prokofiev, bits of Von Williams, bits of all sorts of people. I think I intended when I wrote them to think of them as four books which could be played individually. Uh, I don't have any strong feelings though about how people choose to play them. Uh, I've done my work and hopefully the pieces are out there in the public domain now and if people want to cherry pick and do th th their own choice of pieces, that's fine by, fine by me. I would love to programme it in its entirety and I think just as with Bach that is, and Shostakovich, that is what a set of this stature requires. The, one of the finest and, and uh, most appealing things about the piece is the way it is structured. A, a beautiful uh, sort of flow through from the different keys and the references to, to Bach's name. Um, that is what I would really like to do. Um, on the other hand, the individual nature of the pieces with their diversity and different characteristics work in any myriad collection that you could put together. It's, this piece is incredibly varied, it's diverse, it's fun, it's serious, it encompasses pretty much every emotion you can think of. Um, that's certainly been stimulating to me and I'm sure it will be very stimulating to anyone who hears it. <laughs>